a food scare shaking up Stu Leonard's today. The supermarket recalling these vanilla Florentine cookies because they didn't list peanuts as an ingredient. The Connecticut Department of Health reporting a shopper died in connection with the mislabeled product. Supermarket shoppers surprised at the news. My first reaction was like, oh my God, like Stu's is such a like trustworthy store, like they always have the best products, that I kind of was like, oh my God, like it's just one of those things you really can't believe. Pride themselves on being organic and fresh and all of their fresh pro salads and things, I would think not a, not a problem here. It's a sad situation, you know, it could happen to any, any, anybody. I mean, we're just all devastated, you know, very sad. Supermarket president and CEO Stu Leonard Jr. today putting blame on the cookies supplier. The supplier changed the recipe and started going from soy nuts to peanuts. And our chief safety officer here at St. Leonard's was never notified. But in a news release, that cookie supplier, Cookies United of ISIP Long Island, included what it says are emails to 11 Stu Leonard's employees dated July 11th, notifying them that the product now contains peanuts and are labeled accordingly. Cookies United says because the Florentine cookies are sold under the Stu Leonard's brand, the supermarket repackages them at their facilities. The recalled Florentine cookies have a best buy date of January 5th and were sold in Danbury and Newington between November 6th and December 31st. Out of an abundance of caution, Connecticut has ordered all Cookies United baked goods off Stu Leonard shelves in Connecticut. You know, I want to assure you that the food you buy is Stu Leonard's estate. I think with everything today, you just have to be cautious. You can't really, like, you have to use your own judgment. You have to do your own research. I'm someone who has a lot of food sensitivities, so I understand. Luckily, I don't have a peanut allergy. Consumers with a nut allergy are being advised to either dispose of the cookies or you can return them to the point of sale. In Danbury, Linda Baccaro, News 4, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.